Welcome back to the 2008 Bow Review. I'm Jason Ballas, and uh, of course today I'm going to be evaluating a new bow for you. This is something called the uh, the Viper from APA Innovations. Now, first off, let's cover a few things. Right, it has a 31 and a quarter inch axle to axle length. Its brace height is seven and nine sixteenths, which really makes it a very, very forgiving bow. That long brace height allows it to to uh, correct itself. Say if you torque it a little bit or whatnot. Uh, after the shot. Now we're going to cover the riser here. I want to sort of do that separate, but there's it's just there's so many things to cover on this bow. We're going to take a closer look here at what they have to offer on the Viper. Now APA's line of bows have pretty much all the same stuff on their riser, and it's really something I want to get in depth here about because they're the only company that I know of out there that has these uh, different products on it. Now I know you've been out there and you've been bow hunting and you're carrying your bow around by the string and you're just you know your your hand gets tired it cramps it actually hits in that nerve right in between the uh, the digits there. Well, APA sort of answered that they put a uh, on the front of their riser they put like a handle and it's got slots for your fingers so you just carry the bow like this you know at your side while you're walking you have your quiver on the outside you have this this handle here so I uh, you know no need for a, a sling around your neck or something you have the bow right here and say you hear an elk bugle if we're elk hunting I could take this thing pull an arrow off put it on and I'm ready I don't have to sit there unstrap it from the thing then put an arrow on it I just turn it over right here and I'm ready to just pull an arrow and put it on so that's something that's really awesome um, another few things they have on here is they have a broadhead wrench actually in the riser and I'm gonna put some pictures on here so you can see it they have a broadhead wrench in the riser so you could just screw your broadhead in there and make sure it's nice and tight they have an actual blade sharpener on the on the riser itself so you know which I'm not a fan of a person who would shoot a broadhead miss an animal then they go pick up the broadhead and you know they they shoot try shooting another animal with it now once that once a broadhead has been shot out of my bow either if into a target or if I miss or something it's no longer usable until I replace the blades or I have them sharpened. So you can actually sharpen the blades right here on the riser. Also, it comes with a little knock adjustment tool. And I'm going to put the picture up here again. It comes with a knock adjustment tool. A little, uh, you know, you stick your knock in. You can turn it to adjust it so your veins are right or, or whatever the case is. I shoot fobs uh, with drop away rest. But if you shoot veins, that's fine. For the review, I'm shooting that, that Victory Archery Arrow and it has feathers on it. So no matter what the case is you can adjust it so that everything's taken care of in that aspect the riser has a lot of cuts out cutouts throughout that really reduce the weight it's a four pound bow which is perfect you know it's around average for all the bows out there as far as that but another great thing that they came out with this year and I talked to Nabel who's up there and he we were talking about this when he was discussing it and I thought it was probably a great idea and that's this limb hook they have a hook on the riser so say if you're in a tree stand you're in a, a ground blind, wherever you are, you're next to a tree, you could take and hook your bow right on there while you're calling, you're rattling horns, you're using calls, you're bugling or whatever the case is, and it's got an arrow on it already, all you gotta do is take it off the limb and you're ready to shoot. No more do you have to have one of those hooks on the side of your tree or put it in a, in a thing on your stand, you can just hook it on a limb right in front of you and you're ready to hunt. So a lot of great little products that they came out with on this bow and I really really am very impressed as far as that goes um, the rest that, that came with this bow they sent an APA rest I actually have a uh, limb driver rest on there right now and that's a drop away because I shoot fobs and fobs you know fletching only better if you all saw my review on them they're the best things since sliced bread and pockets on jeans in my eyes now if you take you take your uh, your your grip here the grip on this bow is a really skinny grip. Now, if you've paid attention to my reviews in the past, I'm not a real big fan of skinny grips. Just too much room for torquing or something along those lines. But to tell you the truth, with this bow, I, I, it, I don't even notice it. You know, it's got two wood grips on the side that sort of align perfectly with your hand. Your your hand falls right up into the thumb the thumb area here, and you're uh, you're ready to go. I, but as far as that goes, there's not a, there's not any issues when it comes to that. You know, the, the shorter brace height actually allows for you to shoot this bow out of a blind a lot better, uh, a tree stand, and of course, you know, it's vertical limb like everything else out there. So, you know, let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'm going to show you the draw cycle on it, and then we're going to shoot through the chronograph, and uh, I'll give you some final closing thoughts on this bow. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the draw on this bow. 
I'm going to show you guys how it draws. Now, APA states this is a smooth drawing little bow, and to tell you the truth, I have to agree with them. Once you come back, that back wall is solid. There is nothing that's going to move this bow. I can even creep just a little bit, and I still, the bow doesn't go anywhere. You're set. See that again. See that one more time. The bow's there. No problem. All right, so one more time on that draw. Comes back smooth. Now this bow is at 70 pounds, and it's like drawn 65 pounds or even less, to tell you the truth. I mean, I really have no problem pulling this bow back. Have my hands open. I'm going to shoot this bow. I'll touch my fingers just in case. Zero hand shock at all. The bow just sort of falls forward, just like you know an Olympic bow guys you see do. So uh, zero hand shock at all. Really quiet. The only noise I heard was my rest, which is metal from the uh, the limb driver folks. It's covered in a little bit of little bit of uh, skin there, but you know no big issue. It, it it just made a click, and that was just the only sound I heard. It wasn't the bow making any sound. So on a level of noise, I had to give this about a 9.7 on as far as uh, as far as that goes, for, for the noise, the vibration, 9.8, 9.9, .9, I didn't feel really feel anything. Um, on smoothest of the draw, there again, we're in about a 9.7 range. Uh, the wall's solid, you can creep forward, there's no problems. The bow doesn't torque in your hand, even with this little thin neck. Um, I'm pretty impressed so far. So let's shoot it through the chronograph, see what kind of speed we're getting. Remember, we're going to be shooting that Victory Archery V-Force arrow that's 373 grains. It's about the average hunting weight of an arrow that I, that I shoot out there. It's a 100 grain head on the arrow, so let's shoot it through the chronograph and see what we can come up with. All right, we're shooting the Viper here from APA Archery. 373 grain arrow through the chronograph. Two hundred and ninety six feet per second. All right, second shot here through the uh, chrono with the Viper from APA. This is the exact same speed, two hundred and ninety six feet per second. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, there's something to be said about uh, repetition and the speeds out of this bow, two hundred and ninety six feet per second. Uh, for, for a bow that has such a large brace height and is uh, only IBO'd at 318 feet per second with an IBO grain arrow. So uh, I'm telling you, and that's a 30 inch draw. This here set at 29 inches and I'm shooting 296, 297 feet per second was about the average. And uh, smooth draw overall, I would have to give this bow, I mean it is, it's, it's, it's up there. About a 9.8, 9.9. I mean it's overall quiet. There's no shock. It has the STS on the back here that just absorbs the shock when it comes in. It's got the bow jacks to really keep it quiet. Um, the only noise, like I said, I ever hear out of it is out of my rest. And that doesn't have anything to do with APA. Uh, I love, I, I have to give them a 10 on design. A total 10 on design because I've never seen a bow come out with this kind of stuff. I mean, they got this hook for the limb. How imperative would that be if you're out there hunting, chasing stuff up the mountain? The, the, you know, the, the carrying handle. Uh, a lot of bow companies out there really put forth effort every single year to come up with new designs, new ideas, and things that are going to really take the market. And I think APA has done that. They have really come full circle with this with this bow. And uh, you know, they make some speed bows. Last year, they claimed to have the fastest bow out there, and uh, I would love to shoot that bow. I, t I tell you, you know, I'm not a real big speed freak. To me, to tell you the truth. Uh, a bow that shoots right around 300 is the perfect hunting bow because any more than that, and you've heard me say it before, it's it's sort of a waste. If you can't control your bow, you can't make the right shots. You know, everybody gets caught up with this IBO speed, but a bow like this bow shooting 296 feet per second, yet it's really forgivable with this monster brace height you have here. You can't ask for a better hunting bow. Um, this fully machined riser, it's a great camouflage pattern that they have on it. Uh, I really... I'm impressed this year, needless to say, and uh, I think you're going to see a lot from APA here in the future because they really, uh, they, they've gone the extra mile and done some extra things that I think a lot of folks 
you know, here in the, in the hunting world, if you will, are really going to like. Uh, you know, my thing is carrying that darn bow, and how many years have I carried it by the string because I refuse to wear one of them shoulder straps. So, you know, there's little things like that to really make a bow special, plus a great, sh great shooting bow, and it shoots great, easy to tune. I didn't have a problem tuning this bow at all. So, I, I, would, I would seriously recommend this. I'm going to give it a 9.8, 9.9 right in the middle there. So, it's a, it's a very good bow. Thank <laughs> you.